Hello everybody. So I recently installed Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 off of uh, Steam and I've never played them before but I recently beat out Far Cry Primal and I really liked it so I thought I would try uh, Far Cry 3 and 4. Um, Far Cry Primal was working fine for me. It started up fine. It ran great. Uh, so I don't think, or I, at least I've I've, I've fixed the issue, so I know that the problem was not performance-based. Um, it seems to be an issue relating to this problem I found on a Steam community page, um, which relates to the NVIDIA driver, uh, specifically versions 361.75, 361.91, and 362.00. However, I had uh, version 364.72 and was also having issues. Uh, basically, I'd start up the game and it would crash the desktop immediately. So, um, what you'll want to do, or what worked for me anyways, is you can revert back to a NVIDIA driver from December. Um, so, what we'll do, because I've actually done the full installation here, just in case you have the... if you've done a, a standard installation and you got everything with it, um, you should have the GeForce Experience installed. Now, if you have a newer version, you can, um, a newer graphics driver version, you can optionally just try to uninstall uh, the GeForce Experience because the problem seems to be with Shadow Play, which is installed or is part of the GeForce Experience. So we'll try on installing that. Uh, some other things people had mentioned was starting the both Steam and the Ubisoft Uplay uh, program, both in administrator mode. Uh, this did nothing for me, so what I had done was reverted back to this version, 361.43, which uh, I can confirm does work. So. If you want to do that, what you can do is open up the NVIDIA driver downloads, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, of course. And once you've filled out the uh, drop boxes here with your information, you can click search. And so far, it seems that the issues seem to be with these drivers. So uh, what we'll do is download the 361.43 which I currently have downloaded already, so we'll just open it up. Yes. And then, now since I already have it installed, I'm not going to complete the installation, but I'm going to show you uh, what you'll need to do right up to the point where you click install and it proceeds. Um, if you're unfamiliar with driver installations for GPUs, you may see some flickering or the screen might go black for a second or two and then come back. That's perfectly normal, so don't worry. Um, if it persists or stays off, then there might be an issue, but I can't see that happening. So once this is done, um, you should get the license agreement, which we'll click accept and continue once we get there. And this is the important part here. What you'll want to do is switch to custom or the advanced installation. And we will select only the graphics driver, the audio driver, and the physics system software. So this will mean you'll only have this, the HD audio, and the graphics driver. You can uncheck 3D vision stuff. And then I'd click perform a clean installation. Now, once you click next, it'll proceed with the installation, and then it'll close out. But since I'm already on that version, there's no point in doing it again. Once you're done, you can open up the device manager, the display adapters, and you should see your graphics card listed. Click Properties, Driver, and as you can see, 36143. Um, now, I do suggest restarting your computer um, because when I first did that, I didn't, and the game still didn't start. Once I restarted, it was fine. But we'll start up the game anyways to show that this version works. 
I had tried absolutely every other possible fix that was listed until I found this one and just reverting back to an older driver seems to be the fix. Um, what was happening before is I'd get to, before even this screen, as soon as it expands into windowed mode, it would, uh, you know, you get that error message pop up saying there's an issue with the program and you want to debug or close the program. Uh, so, like I said, I tried everything. I tried reinstalling. I tried admin mode for both Steam and Uplay. Uh, but reverting the driver version seems to be what worked for me. And I'll quickly just start up the game here to show that it works. Alright, so as you can see, game started up fine, seems to be moving okay. So, if this didn't work for you, I'll include a link to that uh, community discussion from Steam, just because it might have some other fixes that might work for you. However, I do hope that this worked for you, and thanks for watching.